Girls' brains throughout development seem to be reaching maturity one to two plus years ahead of the boys' brains. And we know this, um, I've just mentioned this process of myelination, of connectivity. Well, the girls appear to myelinate to cause the closure and, of this adult process two or three years earlier than boys. And when you look at brain growth, what happens across development is your brain grows and then it, it actually starts to prune itself a little bit as you become adult life, adult like. So your, your, the number of brain cells in your brain is, is actually comes down a little bit to become adult like. You want that. You don't want, it's a part of a pruning that's important. So when you look at when that happens, it happens a little bit earlier in girls than it does in boys. So actually, you know, boys are completing the process into their late teens and early 20s, whereas girls are completing this process of connectivity and sort of the pruning part of the brain um, more towards the end of the teenage years, middle to end of the teenage years. Now, given that lag, um, it makes some people have suggested that we might consider some gender-based learning. Now, it is possible that the girls are more are are ready to learn certain things possibly earlier than boys because of this ability that they mature sooner and so one asks whether some subjects could be taught to girls earlier than boys and we might need to consider this in terms of um, high school curriculum however it's ideally this is not just gender based every individual is going on their own little curve and it would be Obviously, everybody's different. Even two boys are different from each other with respect to actually when they're reaching the end of their brain growth. And ideally, of course, you know, in an ideal world, teaching to an individual's brain development would be the best um, possible, you know, strategy.